Today is a very special day because it's Thursday, and Thursday is Trevginis Esof Day, which is Farm for City Children. Farms for City Children is a, an educational charity started by Michael Morpurgo, the author, who is known for War Horse and lots of other things, and it enables children to get experience firsthand of what it is like to be on a farm. So it's an addition, if you like, to their educational curriculum back at home. And what I'm doing here is facilitating a project called Wishes for Wales. It's a project working with CADU to work with more than 600 children from all urban areas throughout the UK. What these wishes are, are stones. They're stones that the children are decorating in three colours black, gold and white. They are pretending to be an artisan from the medieval times and their project is to design something beautiful for the bishop's palace. And the inspiration that the children are using to design these stones comes from their feelings that they captured in St. David's Cathedral itself and the bishop's palace. And each stone is very personal. Because they can't take them home, because they're leaving them here, I've asked them to think about a wish that they would like to write on the back. And it can be quite personal. It can be broad. Many of them have said love and peace for everyone on the earth. They all have beautiful sentiments. But it's something that is their present that they are leaving here that hopefully the wind and the rain won't wash away for many years to come and they can always think about their time here at Treginis Farm, their experience, and that there's a little bit of them left in Pembrokeshire in Wales, no matter where they live. And many of them said they wish they could stay or I wish I could be here longer. And um, they will be here longer, they'll be here always. The whole business of them being involved in something that's of national importance and also the whole business of culture, the, the thinking about where you're from, the thinking about where you're going, uh, where you fit into society, which is one of the big reasons Farms for City Children existed as well. And then this idea of on the back of the stones placing a wish, which is going to go on for centuries and centuries we hope, so that they're actually being part of a new era of, of the whole world in a sense and people can come and, and join with them when they come and see these stones in the Bishop's Palace. And I think part of it is for them to realise that these buildings now are ruins but living breathing people were part of these spaces and the palace itself was a place of feasting and, and celebration so we're bringing that back alive. I like the Wishes project because um, it let me um, get off what was on my chest. They've all really taken it seriously and I think the idea that they're not taking it home, that they are making a gift, and all children know what a gift is. A gift is something that you take time in, don't you? A gift is something that's very particular to the person that you're giving it to. So I think to them, Wales has become almost a person. This country is, is, is hopefully very special to them now, and this is the gift that they're giving. I enjoyed the Wishes Project because when I'm older, um, I'll be able to um, say to my grandchildren that I'll be like, I've been down there and I've put that stone in that bishop's palace. Part of the Cultural Olympiad project in St David's is a pilgrimage from Flantoni to St David's using the medieval route. So these stones will be the decoration among other works of art created by children. When the pilgrims arrive, this is our celebration. This is part of bringing back colour and life to these beautiful buildings. <laughs> <laughs>